Hi everyone, my name is Melissa. Not that long ago this question was raised on the Enterprise DNA form. A member wanted to know how to convert a code containing a year, a week and a day number back into a date using Power Query. Now sadly no mockup file was provided, but a clear example was given. So here you have it, 2014-5 should translate to April 3rd, 2020. So let's go over the Power Query. I've already loaded a small sample data set and as you can see the first record here contains the value that was provided in the forum thread. So when I loaded this Power Query automatically created this change type step and I'm going to remove it because I don't actually need it. Now making sure our confirmed delivery date is selected we're going to add columns, extract and extract the first characters to get to the year. So the first two in the code were for the year and I'm going to change the column name here call this year and to turn this into a proper year value we're going to have to add 2000 so this is going to be 2020 and so on so when I press enter I'm going to receive an error and that's because of a type mismatch so when you click off to the side here in the white space you can see the error down below stating that you can't uh, apply the operation plus to types number and text so we somehow have to transform this part back into a number and that's where the power query function number.from comes in so i'm going to add that here number.from Don't forget the closing parentheses now and this is no longer going to return a type text but this is going to return a type number and press enter so we now have a valid date um, a year value here next to extract the week number so that's the following two characters here in the string make sure the confirmed delivery date column here is selected add columns extract from range now Power Query is zero based, so you have to start counting from zero. So zero, one, two will get us the third character. So this will be a two, and then we're going to extract two characters. So that is also going to be two. Press OK. So this is going to be our week. And again, just turning it into a number. So number dot from. Well, let's see. There you go. And adding a closing parenthesis, turning it into a type number. Awesome. So make sure the confirmed delivery date is selected. Now for the day, we only have to extract the last number here. So add column again, extract last character. That is going to be the last one character that we have to extract. Perfect, and we'll call this day. And again, also turning this into a number. So number dot from. Adding the closing parentheses, and it's going to return a type number now. Excellent. So now we have all the components to retrieve a single date from our calendar table. And all we have to do is perform a three-way lookup. So to do that we'll go to the Home tab and select Merge Queries. We're going to merge with our Dates table. Now we're going to have to identify all of the pairs that belong together. So we can select the year here and the year value there. Then pressing down control to select the next uh, pair. We're going to select a week here and that corresponds to the week number and the day that corresponds to day in week. 
So you can see that uh, Power Query has added an index number here where you can identify the pairs that belong together. So press OK. And now all we have to extract is the date. Okay. Well, as you can see, uh, we now have a value of April 4th for our first record. And on the forum, remember it said it should have retrieved April 3rd. Now that's because if we look at our dates table in the day in week column, we can see that this starts to count from zero. So this runs from zero to six and not from one to seven. So to solve this, we can do a one of two things, we can either add one in our dates column for the day and week number, so that runs from 1 to 7, or we can subtract one from our day value here, and that's what I'm going to do. So in the applied steps pane here to decide, I'm going to select the step for the day, and I'm going to subtract one. Now moving back to the last step, we'll see that we have now have the correct value. So we expect it April, April 3rd, and that's what we received. Excellent. So all we need to do is uh, clean up the columns, the helper columns, we no longer need them. So choose columns, and just only select the confirmed delivery date and the date. Press OK. Perfect. So I hope you found this short video helpful. All the best.